Hey guys, this is Dan. I just wanted to show you the hot wire foam cutter I just rigged up. Um, it took me about, um, let's see, maybe four hours to make everything. Um, that's including the, the power source and everything, so not a whole lot of time. And um, so I'm just going to walk you through how I went through, uh, how I pretty much made this. Um, here's the, the power supply. I actually got this off another guy from YouTube, uh, modified it a little bit with uh, these kind of um, leads for the, the hot wire cutter. That's pretty much the only difference I did. I also opted not to include the, the fuse, um, but I think his name was Crash Hancock. He's on YouTube, so he's got a tutorial about how to kind of go through and, and make this. Um, so you can see it's on, so. So yep, that's how that works. And then um, this little table I, I made up, um, got some wood from Hobbytown USA. And these boards were actually already cut to these sizes. So I just decided to go with uh, these dimensions because I don't have any power tools on this internship right now. The only thing I do have is a Dremel. Um, and so some Dremels and some screwdrivers is all you, is all you really need to, to build this, this thing here. So pretty simple. Um, but anyways, um, it's a one foot by two foot um, cutting surface, and here's the boom, which is, I'm not sure how tall that is, I think that's another two foot boom, yeah it is, so I just have it on the, on the side wall there, I have it screwed in from this side, you can see the two vertical screws, okay, and then I notched it into the board here and uh, it just goes up, makes a, a couple bends here. Um, the one thing uh, I was not really expecting is how flimsy this was going to be. Um, go over here and kind of show you guys. So as you can see, just by pushing on it, there's a, you can get quite a bit of slack in here. Um, so anyways, that's kind of a uh, design flaw, I guess. Um, but anyways, kind of found a workaround for that, and I'll go over that in a second. So, um, see over here, I just have a little eyelet um, screw, just goes into this half-inch post here, and it runs through a, a drilled hole in the table. And let's see if I can see this underneath. It feeds over to another block that's screwed in, and there's the the negative lead, which runs back into your power source. So. Um, the the quick fix I figured out to, to to stop this thing from bowing is uh, grab a carbon rod and uh, I kind of just wedge it in there and then up here I kind of bow out the carbon rod okay and just kind of st stick it up there into the wood right so it's just kind of holding itself in there um, and that actually really eliminates a lot of that slack in the line um, so if you push hard on it it'll obviously bend but so that's the the quick fix I, I came up with and it, it doesn't eliminate any of your cutting surface really um, I'm going to be cutting half inch foam so instead of going all the way up to this to this uh, vertical piece here I'll only probably be able to go here so by eliminating only another half inch that seemed like a really good solution. Um, the other solution I initially thought of is just put another board or put another post uh, right here and run it all the way down. But I mean, that eliminates all of this cutting surface over here because that post would be in the way. Um, so just adding a little carbon rod in there just to tension it up and stiffen up that, that piece um, seems to work just fine. And uh, um, this is a guitar string that I'm using right here, not nichrome wire, which I probably should be using. You can kind of see the little bead on there for a guitar. <laughs> but uh, anyways, so it all works really well and uh, very happy with it. Um, not too incredibly expensive. Uh, the power source um, probably ran me $40. Um, and then all the wood, another 20 And like the bolts and, and things like that. Um, so overall, really pretty, pretty cheap project, and something that you know you can use for um, 
all your foam projects. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any um, questions on how I kind of went about it. Um, I did end up modeling this whole power box in SolidWorks first, just so I could figure out the exact layout I wanted and for all the holes and stuff like that. And um, but as far as the table, I just kind of whipped that up in my head. That's probably why it's not the strongest in this corner up here. But, um, but for what it is, it works really great. So pretty happy with it. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.